Okay, today we'll be opening up this Land Rover oil filter, number ERR3340, and this CarQuest Premium oil filter, number 94112. I'll put a link down below to where you can get these two oil filters. But I got these oil filters for free. Yep, a very generous viewer, whose name is Jim from Mobile, Alabama, sent me these two oil filters. Thanks, Jim. And these filters fit Jim's 1987 Land Rover 90. Yep, the one with the four-cylinder, 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, let's look at this Land Rover oil filter first. And right here it says Land Rover, made in Poland. And that's about all the information on this filter box. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. There's no date code right here in the end. But I think I found one down here. 181161. And this filter has six inlet holes. Metal core with holes. And the bypass valve looks to be right here in the base end. Looks to be a nitro rubber anti drain bag valve also. And a nitro rubber gasket. Which comes off fairly easy. Okay, and let's take a look at this CarQuest oil filter. CarQuest Premium Heavy Duty Filters. And it also has this Baldwin filter uh, logo. It's kind of strange. It has it on the filter also. I'll show you in a minute. Made in USA. Raleigh, North Carolina. And there really isn't anything on this box, so let's open this filter up and see what it looks like. Date code 0729-2206174. And right here it says Made in USA. Baldwin filters. This filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. About three grooves there for the threads. Metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below, and a nitro rubber gasket, which is on there a little bit better than the Land Rover. Land Rover on my left seems to stick out more though. Okay, so let's uh, open up these two filters and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Rover is 468.3 grams. The CarQuest is 412.8 grams. Let's take a look at the gaskets. The gaskets look very similar in size. So I just give them I'll give them a tie. They both look they look good. Base plates. The CarQuest weighs 179.7 grams. And the Rover weighs 172.5 grams. Let's look at them up close. They both got the same amount of grooves for the threads. You know, inlet holes are completely different. They probably probably equal up because these are smaller on the right. The CarQuest are smaller. The Rover ones are a little bigger. But uh, both look pretty good. And um. And drain back valves. They're both nitro rubber. And they cover up the holes. The CarQuest has this plastic insert. Yeah, that's all that's all good. And this one's the rover one is pretty good, Lewis. It stays right on there. The filter elements. CarQuest, 125.7 grams. And actually, before I went to that, I should have showed you this. Here's the base end bypass valve. And it's a uh, Rover filter. Pretty nice. These are, these look like the Wix, uh, what Wix used to make. Or have on their filters. Let me weigh that a heck of it. 22.1 gram. Okay, and uh, 
and the rover weighs 133.3 grams okay let's take a look at this rover filter we got a metal crimp seam right here we got lots of pleats 83 pleats and they're deep pleats also so this is gonna this is going over my table I'm pretty sure metal end caps no excess glue it's nice and clean nicely spaced I don't have no specs for this filter though I couldn't find anything about this filter so what you see is what you get but it looks very good looks looks well made okay and the carquest oil filter carquest filter doesn't look as good I counted 57 pleats 26 less pleats they're deep also got a glued seam right here metal end caps and this has a bypass valve setting this is all I could find for specs is this has a bypass valve setting of 20 psi metal end caps also no extra glue so it's nice and clean deep pleats yeah see so see how they're kind of crooked kind of a big space there yeah not as not as well made as this one so it's a lot smaller too okay let's look at the inside here we got both got coil springs the rover on the left car quest on the right I'm not gonna bother wearing those let's see the cans car quest is 76 grams the rover is 120 grams well, twice as much and you'll see why here in a second it's 0.61 millimeters thick for the rover 0.43 millimeters thick for the CarQuest CarQuest is quite a bit thinner you can feel it in the filter media the rover is 2.90 inches wide and the car quest is 2.26 inches wide. Yeah, quite a bit difference here. I'm gonna say uh, the rover is gonna have a lot more filter media. All right, let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here's both filters stretched out. And I have to have them both going over my table so I get an accurate measurement. But there's a lot of filter media between these two filters. And the Car Quest is 94 inches long. And the Land Rover filter is 115 and a half inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these filter medias. This is L for Land Rover. 0.73 millimeters thick. And the CarQuest is 0.81 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at these guys up close. There's the filtering side, back side. And let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. So as you can see, both filters have some light spots in them. But this Land Rover has 334 square inches of filter media compared to the CarQuest, which has 212 square inches of filter media. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So we got this base end bypass valve versus well, this bypass valve. I like these better. There's a uh, less chance of getting debris back into your engine, unless they're getting back in. And you got holes. There's a lot of holes on here, nice and smooth, versus louvers. 
And let's see, I'll take a seat. We're gonna try to flashlight here, see if you guys can see that these louvers are opened up good. See that? So those are opened up really nice. And they both got springs, so that's a tie. This, although this one looks heavier duty. The CarQuest one looks heavier duty. I mean, any drain back valves. I guess I would give these guys a tie. Yeah, base plate's probably a tie too. In the cans, I'd have to give to the Land Rover. It's a thicker can. Beefier can. Gaskets, I would say they're a tie. I think I would give this one to the Land Rover. What do you guys think? And again, I want to thank Jim for sending me these two oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Land Rover filter media weighs 32.1 gram. The CarQuest filter media weighs 21.1 gram.